Okay, Paul, what are we doing today? Well, the waterer works so good, so I thought I'd imitate the water contraption and make a feed contraption. So I'm gonna put this in. This is where we put the feed, dry feed. It falls down, goes into these holes, and that's where the chicken's gonna eat the feed out of. So all I have to do is install it in my chicken slide not a chicken tractor not a tractor doesn't have any wheels on it it's a chicken slide okay well tell us what we got here already in the chicken slide well, explain the, these parts this is on this side this is the waterer PVC pull the cap off and there is water and it goes down to the water valve where the chickens get their water from. Drill a hole with my battery powered. And we're gonna drill it right here and install our feeder. So now we will have a waterer and a feeder and an egg catcher. And then the purpose of these is they <coughs> They, they weed the aisles for us. See, look, here's the where she came from, here. That's, that's with them weeding. This, we just put her here. So here's what it looks like without the chickens weeding. So let me tell you something. This saves hours of time, hours and hours. So these are kind of our prototype uh, chicken sleds. And it's one of the things that we were saying before where we just keep improving and improving and improving on them. And then when we get everything just the way we want it, then we'll, we'll remake them and, and do everything right on it. <laughs> we, I. Look at it. It's coming on down. See how long it takes her to realize there's food in there. She's doing her thing, tearing up the grass. Now I'm hoping that by putting all unlimited feed in here now, they don't stop digging the grass up. Well, yeah. I'll have to start limiting their feed if they do that. Normally they just get like a cup to a cup and a half each evening. This will give them more unlimited feed. Because yeah, they get bugs and they get some vegetation in the chicken slides, but not as much as the ones that are free range. I just feel like they get more, they don't need as much of the pellets because they're getting stuff out of the grass. Why isn't it going down? We have a Delhi Llama. You might need a plunger.
<laughs> Push it down. Why isn't it going down? Okay, that was a tight, that was a huge amount of food. Yeah, it was. That's all our chicken food. I gotta go get more tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> she got the rest of the chicken food. Chicken food's all out. Yep. Okay. So, success um, or not successful? What's your what's your feedback on this experiment? Well, it looks like it's successful. The chicken's eating. The only thing I've got to do is figure out how to keep this from from spinning. But uh, yeah, I think it's a success. Alrighty. So, and you might be wondering, well, when it rains, how's that food gonna stay dry? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm actually going to make um, a fabric, a waterproof fabric that goes over, that has grommets on each side, and we're gonna clip it down, and it's gonna keep it from getting wet in there. And then in the winter, it'll be like an insulated fabric that's gonna go over, and we can change them out as needed. All right, good job, Paul. Thank you. <laughs>